Hey guys, just a quick video on how to programmatically download a file from an FTP server using PHP. Now this can especially be useful for e-commerce websites where one might need to download a supplier's inventory file and then parse the file to upload products to, a, uh, to an e-commerce site. Now, the first things you'll need are the login details to access the FTP file. Now, these will usually consist of a uh, server address, FTP server address. We'll just leave it blank for now. An FTP username. And an FTP user password. Now, for privacy reasons I'm not going to reveal mine I have them in a separate file this file right here helper.php so I'm just going to include that so that we can use them without me having to reveal them they are going to be server address user and password so to connect to the FTP server we use the FTP connect function and we'll do FTP con equals FTP connect and we'll give it the FTP server location and then we'll do die could not connect to server or FTP server. And then to log in, we'll use the, the FTP login function, FTP login, and we'll give it the, the connection we just made along with the FTP username and the FTP user password. Okay, let's comment some of these. It's a it's a good habit to get into. So this is going to be connect to FTP server and login. And then down here we'll do this is where we're going to download the file. Yeah, let's do download FTP server file right now to download the file we'll use the ftp get function and for this we'll need a name for the file on the server on the ftp server and a name for what the file will be called once it's been downloaded to our local computer so let's do local file and we'll call this local.csv these are going to be CSV files and then we're gonna do a server file now for the uh, the server file that I'm downloading is called inven feed underscore five two six four dot CSV now, obviously you would put whatever your file name is in here and to actually download the file, we'll use the FTP get function and we'll give it the connection, the local file name and the server file name. And then we'll close the FTP connection. And we do that by using the FTP close function and we'll close the FTP con. So now if I run this, we should see a file appear here and yep there it is we can see the uh, local.csv file has been downloaded if I click on it you can see that it's a huge file with a bunch of data in it now another thing we could do and and this is just better coding is to make sure we try and get ahead of any possible errors before they crash our program and a way to do that is to add an if statement like so if file is downloaded, echo successfully 
downloaded file. If not, then echo error downloading file from FTP server. Put a semicolon here. We need one more here. Now, if I run this, and I'm just going to delete this so that we can see it again. Delete the uh, CSV file that we just downloaded. And then rerun this. We can see that the CSV file, the local.csv file, has been downloaded again. And here it says successfully downloaded file, down here. Now, just to, to see if I change the name here and give it a random name that doesn't exist for the uh, server file, and then try to run the code, we'll see that the file here did not download, and down here in the console, in the terminal, it says the error download and file from FTP server. Now, if we go back and then rerun it, we see that local.csv is downloaded again, and here it says that successfully downloaded file. And that's it. If this was helpful to you, please hit the like button and leave any questions or comments you might have in the comments section below. Take care.